Hi everybody, it's Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome to another episode of Chatting Skellington's quote-unquote podcast. Um, today we'll be talking about how Hubby and I met. So, I had never exactly tried online dating before, and it wasn't exactly something I wanted to do because at the time I think like Tinder was like the biggest hookup app, and I didn't exactly want to hook up. I wanted me. I wanted something real. At that time, um, I had been, it was around 2018, no, 20, 2017, it was 2017, and it. I remember distinctly, it was March 15th, and the only reason I remember that is because, um, I don't know if you guys ever watched, like, The Fairly Odd Parents, but, like, March 15th was such a cursed day for, um, Crocker, the, the teacher, so um, that day, March 15th, had also been significant because that was one of my ex's anniversaries with me, and the date just always stuck in my head, so I got broken up with on March 15th of 2017, and I wanted to find something new, you know, so on March 16th, literally the next day, I went on my phone, and I was looking through any and all dating apps I could find. So I went to um, OkCupid, which seemed like a better option anyway. So I downloaded OkCupid, bought the subscription because I didn't know how long I was going to be on there. And even if I did, I really wouldn't have to pay if I found someone quick enough. So I was, of course, talking to a few people and eventually I stumbled across Hubby's profile. I was looking through his pictures, I read his bio, and I thought, this guy seems pretty cool. So I, they they still do like the swipe right, swipe left thing on there, so I swiped right, and it said, you are a match. So I knew that at some point, he had matched me. So anyway, we talked for about three weeks, and things went really well. I actually, we asked each other to be boyfriend and girlfriend over messaging, which was a bad idea. So anyway, so I grabbed him, kissed him, and then we went off on our date, which took place at um, Camelot. It's like a little mini golf place we have here in Cali. And of course, I kicked his ass, and we've been back multiple times, and I still kick his ass to this day. I finally met up, well, after we met up, you know, we went, like I said, I went to Camelot. Then we went to Soup Plantation, which is like a, a healthier um, buffet place that I live nearby. And then... um. After that, we literally talked till like three in the morning and I knew I was going to get in such trouble when I came home. But on the first date, I told him I loved him, which again, in hindsight, didn't seem like the best idea. But, you know, you live and you learn. So after about three months of dating, unfortunately, I did break up with him. It was a year and four months until I had contacted him again. Now, in between that time, I had been through, like, a lot of rocky relationships, which, again, will be another Chatting Skeletons episode. But um, during that time, it was a little, I like, I kind of kept in contact with him every now and then. We went to Disneyland, like, twice. But, you know, it was always hard every time because, you know, I wasn't with him and it was also hard because one of my exes worked um, an event that he was also working. So when we met up, he had another girlfriend at the time. And Lord, did my blood pressure skyrocket. After a battle with a lot of rocky relationships, I called up my girl one night. It was October 17th, 2018. Called her up and I said, hey, I am in pain. I hate that I keep doing this to myself. I don't want to keep hopping around from boyfriend to boyfriend to boyfriend. I want to find something that's going to stick. And she said, well, why don't, and I was like, I was like, well, why, what about Louis? Should I contact him again? And, and he goes, she goes, well, you did seem you're happiest with him. I was like, okay, wish me luck. And the only thing that was running through my head when I was going to message him was, I bet you he already has a girlfriend. I bet you he's already seeing someone still. What if he's with that same girl? Blah, blah, blah. 
So, I messaged him on Snapchat, because I knew he was at Disneyland with his family, and I said, hey, is there any way you could call me when you get a chance, because I want to talk to you. I finally get a text. I think it, I, I remember I went to sleep. I figured I'd get to him in the morning, but I woke up at 11 o'clock to a message on Snapchat from him, and he goes, I can't call right now. I'm with my sister in the car. I was like, oh, well, can you just call me when you get home? And he was like, yeah. But I'm thinking, well, they don't live exactly close to Disney. So why don't I just message him and then have him call me when he gets home? So I messaged him. I was like, you know what? Can I just talk to you about it now? And he goes, yeah, sure. So I told him, I'm like, I want to go out with you again. I have missed our time together. You were the person that made me the happiest. And I don't want to lose that again. And I was very happy with you. And he goes, well, I don't know. What about your ex? And I said, well, he's not in the picture anymore. I've suffered enough times with him that, you know, he's no longer going to be in the picture. And he said, okay. So... After that night, we talked for a couple hours and just got rekindled again on October 17th. But I asked him, like, do you want to make it official now or official on our first date? And he goes, why don't we make it official on our first date? And I'm like, no, but I can't wait. So we made it official that night. And then our first date was like a few days after I went to Knott's Berry Farm and it was super fun. And yeah, we've been together a year and five months. So yeah, next month, April 17th, will be a year and a half. And this is the longest relationship I've ever held without any breaks in it. So I'm super happy about that. And I know we have a future set together. And I am so happy he's here. I'm surprised he's here. I don't know why he's here. But every day I'm grateful that he is. And I just, like Harley, baby, I just don't know where my life would be without him. And Again, I don't want to know because I love my life with him. I love the life I'm going to have with him. And I know everything's going to be okay now. Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening to another Chatting Skeletons. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys so much.